Hey there, Easterlingers. Hope you're having a good day. So I figured today would be a good way to kick off or to end Marvel United and to move on to Marvel Zombies by painting Wolverine as Wolverine and as Weapon X. And we're going to be starting off with Wolverine, who's going to be uh, primed with Army Painter's Matte White and then base coated with an airbrush of Demonic Yellow. All right, so we're going to be uh, putting some airbrush. If you have Demonic Yellow, you can just use that from the Army Painter and put a, you know, it just saves a little bit of time of what you're going to be painting with later on. We're going to start off with a little bit of amber skin now on the uh, face and the arms of Wolverine. And, uh, yeah, so having that yellow base coat is a great idea if you want to save some time because he's got mostly a lot of yellow on his artwork. Uh, which is his shirt, his headpiece, and uh, the legs and all that, like the, the pants. So... Having your base coat after your primer, it, saved you, it saves you just a lot more time. And using an airbrush is even faster because then you can get everything quickly done. Uh, if you're not going to be using an airbrush, well, then you're just going to paint the areas with the demonic yellow then. We're moving on to some Mars Red now, and this is going to be covering up that belt uh, that goes around his waist. Uh, Marvel United is a great little game, and this is the X-Men version of it. Um, it is by Simon Games, so if you haven't played it before, great for the family, great for kids. Uh, super easy to learn, uh, a lot of characters to play. This is from, I believe, the core box um, from uh, X-Men United anyways, or X-Men Marvel United. Now we're starting uh, continuing on with some deep blue. This is going to be for, I think it's cowl is what you want to call it. Is that what it is? Um, and then some other parts here, he's going to have like his boots, his uh, underwear, which are on top of his tights, which again, I find really weird in the superhero world, um, but we won't get into that. I wonder if we're ever going to see this kind of Wolverine on the big screen, like with the yellow leotards and everything. I mean, Hugh Jackman, who knows, is going to be in Deadpool 3. He might might pull it off. Maybe maybe he'd come in with that. Maybe Ryan Reynolds is going to make him do it. I don't know. It'd be freaking hilarious, though. Uh, but we'll see about that anyways. Uh, so like I said, I'm going to be moving on to Marvel Zombies next. Uh, we're going to be painting that entire board game. I might have some other miniatures in between once in a while. But uh, you viewers seem to want to have um, a whole board game painted instead of me going back and forth. So I'm listening to you guys. Uh, if you're enjoying these videos, hit that like button. Please share on social media as well. Share on your Instagram. Share it on your Twitter, on your Facebook uh, hit that little share button. Become a member, please, if you can. I mean, it's, you know, minimum is $3 a month. It's less than a cup of coffee. And that's $3 Canadian, so for you U.S. people, it's even cheaper. <laughs> for European people, it's even cheaper because our dollar is not good right now. So, anyways, but it helps support the channel because this is an expensive hobby. You guys know what it is. Uh, and you guys paint miniatures also, and you have fun doing I love painting miniatures. Um... But I want to keep this channel going, uh, and I want to keep my hobby going as well. Uh, yeah, so again, big, great big thank you for all of the support that has been here for the last couple years. It has been a great run. It's been a lot of fun, and I hope you're enjoying my videos. I hope you're enjoying uh, the painting and all that stuff. Um, yeah, and comment down below if, you're, uh, if you've played... Uh, Marvel United and what you think of the game and comment if you've painted them up or if you're waiting for me to paint some more up and see those. You can also take a look at the playlist at the end of the video of all the Marvel United I have already painted. We're going to do some Dracolic scales now uh, on his glove. So as you can see in the artwork below, you can see it's a little bit brighter blue than what I wanted here. Uh, but the shade I will put on later. And speaking of shades, I, I was a little lazy in my shading. I would suggest you use a blue shade on top of the blue stuff, um, a red shade on his belt, and so on and so forth. You'll see when I get to the shading part how I just wanted to say, you know what, let's just finish this miniature kind of thing, because I am also trying to paint these things for people who are trying to get their miniatures to the table quickly. Not necessarily parade ready, but table ready. Uh, some miniatures you'll look up close and be like, oh my god, there's a lot of faults in this, but as you put them on the table and you're looking from far, whether they're parade ready or table ready, they're going to look amazing. They're going to look a lot better than the color they come in when you buy this game. I mean, these guys are all in this light, light, light blue. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's, it's interesting. And then the anti-heroes are purple and the villains are red so it's kind of cool but like come on having these miniatures painted and up on the table you're just gonna especially with the kids and all that they're gonna be like, oh my god look at wolverine like they're gonna recognize it a lot more than just the the color that came with some matte black now just to do around his belt now in the artwork he does have the x going through it but there was no actual lines for the x i could have just painted on anyways but whatever matte white now to really make those eyes pop and his teeth pop a little bit more so his mouth is open we're showing those nice teeth of his um 
Then we're going to use some shining silver for his adamantium claws, of course. Uh, those wonderful claws that we all know Wolverine for. Uh, and when he gets mad, those things just come out quickly. <laughs> and you do not want to be close to them because they'll rip your head off. Uh, or anything else that he comes in contact with. Uh, so yeah, I mean, and this was a these are fun miniatures and when I start getting into Marvel zombies You're gonna see the difference in how the size scale is so small All right now we're working on the base now we're using some sulfide ochre from army painter I'm just making the ground a little bit more muddy looking dirty looking not your typical gray bottom I'm using some desert yellow now for the bricks here uh, Just making it a little bit different than that sulfur uh, whatever sulfide ochre some weapon bronze for that like wire or pipe or whatever that is that's protruding there out of the ground. Seems like they often do these pipe things. Then I'm using some fire giant orange, which is speed paint, on top of that cloud of whatever this is. At first I thought, okay, is it smoke? And I'm like, no, it's an explosion. This is an explosion that Wolverine is jumping away from because he can heal anyways and he can get out of these kind of situations pretty quickly. So putting the fire giant orange on top of the yellow was kind of a cool idea. It stayed a little too orange for me, but you know what? You can do some highlights of yellow after, and it'll come out looking nice. Crusader skin, now we're going to be putting on where we painted on that skin a while ago. And it's going to really make those muscles pop. It's going to make uh, the face have a little bit more features. And I'm sorry I'm out of focus there. I don't know why it's supposed to have the object tracking on, but now you see that big blood spatter on the wall where I did some blood spatters for my zombies. Agrax Earth Shade now for the ground. Oh, I moved away from Army Painter stuff because, frankly, I like the shades from Army, from Citadel. And here's where I get lazy. I put Nuln Oil all over Wolverine. And I accidentally hit his face, which then reactivated the Crusader skin, which kind of messed it up a bit. I touch it up. I make it look a little bit better. Now it looks like he has a pinch there for some reason or a goatee. But look at the Nuln Oil, though, how it gets into all those little crevices and brings out. It's just such a difference once you have a shade on. There you go. I touched up a little bit of problems, too. I hit with the Demonic Yellow at one point. Anyways, now we're doing Weapon X. So this is technically before Wolverine, right? And what he was before becoming the Wolverine. And he was, so I primed him with Skeleton Bone, or Matt White, sorry, and did a base coat of Skeleton Bone. And here we're starting with the Shining Silver, and because he's got all this equipment on him that's metallic. And of course, he's got those amazing claws coming out of him again. He just got the, that adamantium upgrade uh, up in Canada, of course. That was kind of cool. This is a fellow Canadian, which is awesome. I mean, come on. Who wouldn't want to be friends with Wolverine? I mean, he's a Canadian. He's awesome. But yet... I don't ever I think I've heard him say sorry to anybody for, you know, dismembering him or anything like that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so we're painting all this equipment that he has on him with this uh, metallic shining silver. Uh, it's very bright, so we will dull it down later on with a shade, or not a shade, but a quick uh, paint or speed paint we're going to put on top. We're doing all speed paints on this guy, uh, which is going to be a little different except for the shining silver, of course. Uh, I could have used uh, the Gravelord Grey, which I was intending to do originally, but then it would have been all grey, plus his hair was black. The pipes, or not the pipes, but the uh, all the wires are grey. Anyways, you can see how it all comes out looking amazing. And I find these two miniatures are a great prelude to Marvel Zombies. Uh, looking forward to painting those. I've already got some primed up. I'm not going to tell you what the first one is. That's a surprise. So anyways, uh, Crusader Skin. So as you can see, I'm using the same paint scheme pretty much that I did on Wolverine. Uh, because I wanted the same kind of skin tone, of course. Uh, but on top of the skeleton bone, what a great job. So technically, what I should have done, once I saw how nice it was here, although I painted Wolverine first, I should have put skeleton bone on the skin of the Wolverine. And then I would have used this Crusader Skin and it would have been exactly the same. Uh, but, I mean, it, it's a bit different. I mean, he is supposed to be technically younger here uh, than the Wolverine. So, you know, the skin has changed. We're using a little bit of Slaughter Red now on the visor, a part of the helmet he's wearing. And we're going to do something else to it to really make it pop later. Some Gravelord Gray. So this is what I was talking about. We're going to be putting this on all the wires that are hooking up from those bottom pieces. We're going to put this on his underwear as well. And we're also going to cover the entire base with this as well for the rock formation that he's standing on there as well. So it's try to be careful not to get any on the Crusader skin. I mean, the worst case is you'll grab some skeleton bone, cover it up, and then put the Crusader skin again. But it could make it a little blotchy looking. So just be very careful when you're applying this on there. And in his hair, you can see I'm going down there because he's got a wire going from that top helmet thingy down to his back and down into that piece of metallic hardware down there. Uh, but you're going to see with the color I use for his hair, 
uh, it actually shows the difference between Grim Black and Gravelord Grey, which is completely different from um, was it Black Templar and Basilicanum Grey. Basilicanum Grey and Black Templar, if you put them over white, they almost look identical. This one, I was very surprised that the gray stood out on the hair. And you're going to see that when I put the Grim Black in. And speaking of, not Grim Black, but of Holy White, <laughs> I don't know why I went there with that. This is going to be covering up all the metallic parts, except for his claws, of course. Uh, so it's going to give it a nice gray tone, which is kind of like what he's wearing, you know, like a... And, but it's going to keep the metallic look as well because speed paints are very opaque. It goes opaque, opaque. I might be saying in French or English here. Anyways, uh, grim black now for the hair. And look, you can see right there already that that wire is staying gray. And I'm being very careful not to touch it. But you see the difference uh, with the grim black and that Gravelord gray. So there is a big difference here. Make sure we get all that hair that's on the side of his face as well there. I'm uh, getting everything, and I'm putting a gloss varnish on that visor to make it shine. And there you have it, folks. Weapon X is <laughs> infuriated by what has been done to him. And there you go, both of them next to ne next week. I imagine having both of these guys on the same team. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.